Okay, so one interesting question asked that whenever we give soda bicarbonate to the patient, like 100 millikilin, 200 millikilin, or take the patient on soda bicarb infusions, so how much fall in the uh, calcium levels it causes? Why it causes hypocalcemia also? So understand that calcium travels or calcium is there in the body in the two two major forms. One is the total albumin, which means the uh, calcium which is bound to albumin, which is the major anion, then phosphate, citrate, which are the minor one, and also the free calcium, ionized calcium. Now, this free ionized uh, calcium is the physiological active form, which is there in the blood, which acts physiologically, and it is the active part. Now, when we give soda bicarbonate to the patient, the pH of the blood becomes alclotic. And when this, and when this uh, pH becomes alclotic, it alters the cha uh, charges on the albumin, which is there in the blood. And because of this alteration in the charges, uh, ionic charges on the albumin, it the its affinity for calcium becomes very high and it binds the calcium so what happens the total albumin remains the same but the ionized free calcium decreases it most of it get bound to the albumin so the free ionized calcium becomes less and the patient suffers symptoms of hypocalcemia so it patient can have arrhythmias the patient can have seizures also the patient can have refractory hypotension so whenever you give soda bicarbonate to the patient in large quantities you should always keep a check on the ionized calcium levels you can easily get it in the uh, majority of the blood gases means abgs now how much soda bicarbonate will drop uh, the calcium levels uh, to a particular level nobody knows it depends on patient to patient. We need to keep a check on the uh, blood gases to see how much drop it is happening. There is no standard formula. But yes, large quantities of soda bicarbonate given can cause hypocalcemia secondary to decrease in the level of ionized calcium. The total calcium remains the same, but ionized calcium decreases. So that's very interesting. Do read more about it.